Oh, no, oh, Kate's gonna come. Okay, good. No, no. It feels more balanced now. Oh, yeah, but there's still more okay. bowling. Now, every week when I am um, going through my week, God gives me a children's sermon. You've told us that. Okay, I know. I've told you that before. Well, I had a couple ideas this week, but this morning when I woke up, I just did not feel any of them were the right children's sermon for today. And I don't know why. It was just something in my spirit that was just unsettled about it. So I told Mr. Kendall this morning, I said, I just, I don't know about today's children's sermon. I feel like I have a couple ideas, but it just doesn't feel right for today. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I said, actually, I have, I have an idea of something that I feel like God wants me to do, but I'm scared to do that one, quite honestly. So this morning I opened up uh, the internet, and I just randomly was searching for children's sermons. And do you know the first one I clicked on described the exact children's sermon I was afraid to do? And it even said at the bottom, I was afraid to do this one. But I trusted that God would work his word in it. And so I said, well, I'm just going to do it. And this is why I'm afraid to do it, I'm going to tell you. It's kind of called like improv children's sermon. Do you know what improv means, everybody? No. It means... Spur of the moment, not planned, just working with whatever you got. Okay? And Genevieve and I play this game sometimes where we'll say, I'll say, name something. And she'll just randomly name something. And then I'll say, now, how can we relate that to God's love? And we try to stump, we try to stump each other and she'll say, well... You know, she'll name something, and we'll try to think of a way we could use that as an illustration of God and His love, or Jesus, or something, right? And I really feel like this is a very important thing as Christians to be able to do. And I would love to work with you guys to help teach you how to do this. Because when you're out there in the world, it's the best way to share God's love is just randomly when something happens go oh you know what this reminds me of God's love and this is how so I told Genevieve I said we're gonna on the spur of the moment just play that game for our children's sermon so I said now we're about to start school so you think of something school related okay and we are gonna turn that into a children's sermon so here we go sure. Genevieve stand up what is the thing that you thought of? And she told me, she was like, I've got something, I thought of something. I said, don't tell me, don't tell me, because I don't, wanna, I don't want it to be prepared, and I don't want it to, I really want it to just be spur of the moment, improv, children's sermon. Am I going to be telling how that relates? Yes. Okay. All right, ready? What is the thing that you thought of? Markers. Markers. Does everybody have markers ready for school? No. How many of you have gotten markers? Was that Not on your me. class list? No. Yes? No. All right, so how could you use markers? Oh, I gotta get, I gotta wait a minute, wait a minute. List. To relate to God. Well, markers are sort of like our sins because when you draw them on paper and you're doing good and then you just all of a sudden mess up, um, that's sort of like your sins because... Um, Sometimes you're doing good on your own, and then you just mess up. And um, like, the only way for you to like get a brand new start is to get forgiveness from Jesus, and that's just like getting a new piece of paper from markers. Amen. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you very much. You can sit down now for our next children's sermon. I want you, boys and girls, to go home and think of one school-related item. It could be anything to do with school. It could be math. It could be a journal. It could be homework. It could be recess. It could be lunch. It could be teachers. It could be anything. 
And I want you to talk to your mom and dad this week about how you could relate that to God's love. And I'm going to ask somebody next week to share theirs, okay? You can do this, and God is going to work through you, okay? Let's say our prayer. Who wants to volunteer to say our prayer today? Jackson? Everybody close your eyes. Changed his mind. Is anybody else going to do it? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today, Lord, and please help everybody be able to find a way to relate everything to you, Lord. Amen.